So we've created a basic file output. We've also created a HTML web page that we can embed in our website. So now we can create a DAB output too. We've got a Windows Media Encoder, Shoutcast. Again, it's the same kind of thing. If we go into Windows Media Encoder, you can see here, you type in what the encoder type is, the IP address of the encoder, etc., etc. And then this is the stream text here. You can use this to help to create a format string. So this uses basically a kind of a simple text output here. And um, it gives you a little preview of what it is down at the bottom. So again, you can drag these bits and pieces in. We'll take a look at that when we create a DAB output. So um, that's how you would create your web stream one. So if we go into DAB, then here we go. Again, your server address of uh, where your DAB transmitter is so that you can add to it and any service name and password that you need to authenticate and down here this is the format when creating the DAB text so uh, if we go into here this will load up our little format builder so here we go and uh, this is using some rules so it's saying that if the OCP now item type equals a song then give us the item title by the artist name and uh, that's what that's what it's done with the three dots at the end you can see a little preview down at the bottom here and uh, if it had some notes then it would include the notes and then down here it's saying if the item type is not a song by putting this uh, by putting this mark in here it's saying if it's not a song then uh, it, it takes a look and it gives you some coming soon information down at the bottom here so we do have a preview already if we want to uh, change that, edit that around a, a bit, so we could say um, if we wanted it to be slightly different, if we wanted it to be OCP, um, so if it's a song, then do the title and the artist, and we could also um, add in the scheduled category. So if we, uh, we drag that in there, And so now we have uh, the schedule category is six here. And uh, so we can do that. We can also type in the scheduled year, see whether that comes up. Yep, so now down at the bottom here. So what we could do is we could highlight that. We could do, we could exit that one out, get rid of that scheduled category. That's no use to us. What we'll do, so we'll do blah, blah, blah. And then in here we can type from and then if we paste in that, then it should update there. So we just need to put a space. And so you can see here now it's feeling fine by Ultrabeat from 2012. So that's added in our scheduled year. And so you've just got various items here. You can drag and drop and you can see it's quite easy to move them around. You can add in the timings. You can add in the information notes. You've also got special here so you can add in a uh, picture of the uh, you can add in the presenter's name so here we go uh, we could add in yeah so we could stick presenter name in there which is going to be uh, our p squared user if we didn't want that in the in the, in there at the moment then we can just whack that out so various bits and pieces play around with have a, have a little play drag and drop stick them in you get a preview down at the bottom here you can see it's all it's now moved on to another song oh my gosh by basement jacks from 2012 uh, you've got notes here which help you when it comes to creating a format string up there when you're okay with it then click on okay so that is what is going to be sent through and then we have down here alternate strings to send so uh, what you can do is you can add in air hot fm playing music and you could uh, stick in some more down here um, uh, hello from from hot fm and we could say at hot fm for our twitter handle and so down here then that way it will just uh, scroll around those it'll play it'll do that 
then it will play these ones here. You've got an option here to only use these when the script command ends with empty. So um, we're going to actually untick those and then that way it's just going to scroll around. It's going to scroll from that to one of these, then back to there, then one of these. It just brings a little bit of fresh freshness to your scrolling text. Every now and again, it's, uh, able, it's enabled to be updated. So that is how we would update a DAB transmitter. Once we're happy with that, we click on OK, and that would stick that in. We haven't actually put any details, which is why this one's having a bit of an issue. If you uh, want to delete something, then just uh, right click on it and click on Delete, and uh, that will delete that one. And you can see now we've just got our, D our text file, which is down here and our template here so we can click on our template and see what's going on there's our oh my gosh by basement checks that's in the simple text if we actually go back in that we can double click on that to bring up the details again oh, that's the text file bring this one up that's our html what we'll do is we'll have a look here so there's our simple text here which is showing us what is coming up if you just did the simple text so again we could stick in here artist name and then we'll just do from and then if we go down to scheduling information scheduled year we can stick that in and then that way we're doing the same for that if we force our information update we go to our template here up in our simple text oh my gosh by basement jacks from 2012 so uh, that's how we've changed our simple text there and uh, that is the OCP the online content processor very very powerful indeed very very useful makes your website seem alive if you don't have uh, much time to update it and uh, you can also use it for your web streams and it will keep in sync with the music as well if you do want more information about OCP it is available on the website and uh, you can download the manual there so that's the online content processor from P-Squared, part of Myriad Playout.